Hello everybody, it's Kevin here from Sports Center at the Edomi Honda branch. Today I'm going to show you how to do a paint for scratching in, in the winter season for your non-edible small species like your cat sharks, leopard sharks, um, small raggies and as well as your occasional rock odd, um, your punsu or otherwise known as the black muscle cracker. So let's get to it. Right then, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have um, a mackerel head with a, with a chocker layer over it um, that will keep the peckers from picking all of your bait down so in all matters of fact it's going to be a pecker proof um, scratching bait so what we're going to use today is we're going to use a, a 6 -a, um, tuna circle hook a nice and strong but light in the rocks um, and all of the materials that we're going to use today you can find at any one of our branches at the plate, Nisner or George branches right so what we do is take your number your six uh, circle look. There we go. We're going to put on a little bit heavier of a, of a trace line. Um, this is a one mil Kingfisher um, leader line that we've got. So what you do is you measure about the arm's length off there. Cut that off. Now. The best way for me to do any type of um, circle hook is to snell it, as we call it. So how you do it, you take your hook in your one hand, from the hook's point that you got there, you put the nylon through at the back, all the way about as long as what your shank or the hook is, you clamp it down, and you take it over about five to six times. So that's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, and six. And then you put it back through you put it back through from the front side also from your um, hook point and you can just take that and you can tension that up so what you've got there is a neatly snelled hook all the way you've got your six turns that put the hook under tension and from, keeps it from getting loose right now the back part of your of your leader line is going to go to your swivel other three uh, a three prong swivel, three way swivel, or if you're going for a sliding trace, you can put it on a two way swivel. Um, yeah, so let's put that aside. So, what we're going to do is we've got here um, all of our shops stock the, the agio bait, and we're going to take the mackerel head off of the agio, um, off of the agio uh, mackerels. Right, so what you do is just to simplify it and not worry that much, you take your, your mackerel and Let's just cut that open there. Yes. Yeah. So there you've got, you've got your nice mackerel going. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to cut it just under the gill plate. Um, so then it goes, I'd say about a half a centimeter down there. You can cut it off. So what you've got is, triangle in shape like that. Right there. We're going to put that just one side so that we can go onto our chocker. So when you've got your your export chocker or any type of chocker that you've got, um, the best way is, especially if you're fishing all the time, you want to not expose your bait to, um, to like uh, all the elements and all that, um, just to keep it nice and fresh. So what we can do is while it's still in its packaging, we're just going to cut the head off there set that aside now what you do is, is you take your, your your mackerel head and you measure it onto your bait onto the tube chocker that you got just to get the, the width of it so if you take it like that we're going to go about there so you're going to cut off a ring I'm going to put that aside as well you take with plastic you'll see your chocker has like a, a narrowing in, in there um, where the backbone of the chocker goes through so what you do is, is you cut it off there and that just opens up your chocker with a nice flat piece like that what we're going to do is, is you're just going to go and you're going to scrape off the skin Right there. 
So there you've got your nice flat piece of chocker. What you've got to do, you're going to take it, your trusted chocker hammer, and you're going to Hitting it with the chocker hammer, you're actually like tenderizing the meat, so that helps with the distribution of all the juices and all the enzymes in the in the chocker. That helps with giving it scent in the water. Um, so what we're going to do is, going to take your your circle look that we prepared earlier. What you can do is, if your your tag in at the shank or the hook is too too long, all that you can do is just cut it. A little bit shorter so that it doesn't hinder the bait in any way there we go so what you're going to do is you take a mackerel head on these small hooks if your mackerel head is too big all that you got to do is, is you just got to put it through just the bottom lip and put it through the head so that it's nice and nice into place like so what you want to do is you don't want to put the, the mackerel head too high up onto the hook as it will impair your, your, your hookup rate with your, with your fish. So you got it like that. What, the thing that I like to do is, uh, and it works quite good for me, is when you have your bait like that, you take your cotton. Now, this doesn't secure the bait in any way, but it helps later on with the releasing of the juices and everything so when you've got your bait like that you've got your cotton as your as your mackerel head is still frozen everything is constricted into the bait so by cottoning it up here you're putting tension onto the meat as it's gonna um, defrost the the cotton will constrict the bait further squeezing out all the blood and the juices in the head What you can do at this point is, if you're scared that, that your, your mackerel head is going to fall off, you can just take it a few times over and under. Over and under. There we go. This will help with your casting as well so that the bait doesn't fall off of your hook as you're going. Right there. So there we go. You've got your, your circle hook with your mackerel head. Okay, we can just go and cut off that fin there, right there, there we go. So what we then do is with your chocker, you take the thin thinnest part of the chocker, can be either side, <coughs> and you just hook it over the circuit hook, just like that, and then you let the back flap and over the chop, uh, over the mackerel head, so that you can close it up at the bottom. Right. So then you just tighten everything up again with your cotton. Start from the top. You take it down all the way. You don't have to worry about um, covering up the whole head with chocolate. It's going to be expensive, especially if you make a, a day out of it and you're fishing the whole day. So. Just cover that up like that. What you then do is you take the back flap, you pull it over your chocker, and you tighten that up as well. And just to safely secure it, you take it here from the top as well in a diagonal way. You twist your bait around and do that as well. And as well with your chocker already on there, what you're going to do is you're going to go over and under again. What this helps is it, it keeps the, the, the chocker flat with the, with the mackerel head on the shaft of the hook, um, keeping the, the, the bend off of the um, circle hook open. So that helps with your hookup rates later on so that you don't, when you strike or when you tighten it up it doesn't go into your 
into the bait but keeps it on the hook. So at the end of the day, that's what you're going to be what you're going to be left with. Um, just clear off all the excess cotton here. Right there. And that's what you're left with. As you can see, your, your mackerel head's got like a, with the gill plates. Keeps the peckers from the going through the side. Your chocker at the bottom, it distributes or it gives off scent, but it keeps the, with the tougher meat, it keeps the peckers from eating out the head, letting your bait last two to three times longer into the water. Um, that will give you a better chance of catching your fish that you're looking for. Um, yeah, so that, that's what we got for today. We'll put some close-up photos there on the Facebook page as well for everybody and on the Instagram as well. Um, if you've got any questions that you have, you can pop into any one of our short stores in the Plet, Nisner or the George branches. Um, we've got some friendly guys who are willing to help you there. And please go and check out our, our website as well at www.sportcenter.co.za for awesome deals and specials. Thank you guys. See you again.